He had to pay some a price for his disobedience. But David had a heart after God. He would cry out to God and say, God, I, I need to get it right. Lord, I failed you. Lord, I need your mercy. And I believe it's not what I'm saying. Living holy isn't being perfect. It's not saying, oh, I'm this. No, but it's, it's having a heart after God. It's having an obedient spirit. It's having a teachable spirit. It's having an humble spirit. Y'all, I just want to encourage you this morning to get desperate. I don't know about you, but I tell God every day, I'm desperate for you. I can't make it without you. I'm desperate to hear your voice. I'm desperate to know your plan. I'm desperate to be still and see the move of God through my life. I'm desperate to know that you're still a God of miracles. Use my life. I'm desperate to see your hand move through my children. I'm desperate to see souls one for you. I don't care who's tired of me talking. I'm desperate to obey you over man. I'm desperate to submit so that you can to decrease so that you can increase. I'm desperate after you God. And I just want to encourage you today. I don't want nothing. I don't want to go anywhere that God is not there. I tell God every day. I was telling him this morning. God, I don't even want to tell you how to bless me. I'm not I'm not smart enough. I'm not even knowledgeable enough to tell you what to give me. God, you bless me how you want to. You open doors that I need to walk through. You shut doors that I don't need to show through. God, I'm yielding my life to you so that you can do what you want to do because I'm not smart enough to handle me. I don't want a blessing that will take me away from you. I don't want a promotion, money, none of those things without you. Y'all, we have to want him more than anything in this world. And I just want to encourage you today to lead a life, to live a life worthy of what he did on Calvary. Don't insult him. Don't insult him by living raggedy. You in church, you in the pulpit and in somebody's bed by night. What? Y'all, he was he was crucified. Like, I get mad. He was crucified. Blood ran down his side. He took, he bore our sins. I'm sorry, I get so emotional. He did so much for us. Jesus is real. Do you hear me? He's real and he's coming back, y'all. And you can sit up here and take him for a joke, but you are going to have to answer for every person that you stand and you are blocking them by your life because you're professing salvation, but you live in raggedy. You don't have a heart after him. You're deceitful. You're a liar. You, you lead with anger and you're in the church and you're a barrier because you're a rattlesnake. You're mean. You have no compassion. You don't love people. You need to get on the altar and say, God, give me a fresh touch. Give me a heart of compassion. Give me how to witness in love. God didn't come to beat people down. He came through love, y'all. And we are going to be held accountable for how we represent him. And so I want to encourage you today to lead a life. He's watching. He is a loving God. He is a merciful God, but he is a judging God. And we forget that sometimes we want to focus on, oh, how could God, he turned up tables. He did some things. And so don't insult our God. There's too many people that need to see that he is real. There's too many people that need to know that he's still a God of miracles. There's too many people that need to know that he still heals and delivers, that he still saves, that he can take a stinky life like he did mine and transform it to something good. I'm not anything great, but I am a, a woman who is yielded 100% to her God. I am yielded to him. I'm yielded to his purpose and I'm committed to searching out this word and living it out and that's all I am there's nothing else anything wonderful about Latrice is God that's all. There's nothing great about me other than the great God that I serve. And when you recognize who he is, you will not insult him by living a raggedy life. And I don't know why that's on my heart to, to share, but you need to get it right. You need to get before him every day. And here's the thing. We are not Jesus. So as long as we living on this earth, we have potential to make mistakes. That's not the problem. But the problem is getting it and laying it before him and saying, God, this morning, 
morning. I want to come before you. Wash me. I don't even know what's in me, but I need you to purge me. I need you to show me. Is there anything that would cause others to stumble? Is there anything that would cause others to not see you and the holy and the awesome God? Then wash me and get it out of me so I can be a true image bearer of your love. So y'all, I hope something I said, I just want to encourage you today. I get very passionate about this because he saved my life. He transformed me. He spared my life two times. And when I realize who my God is, what an honor to serve him. What an honor to hear his voice. What an honor to speak before him. I will not. I will not. I don't care if I lose a job. I don't care if I lose all my friends. I don't care. I will serve God and I will walk up before him and I will be what he is calling me to be. And I make no apologies for it. And so I want to encourage you to lead a life, to to honestly serve him. If you're going to serve him, give him everything you did. If he's called you, do what he's called you to do. Obey, move. Who cares who's looking? Obey him, serve him, love him. And do what he's called you to do. I pray that you have a wonderful weekend. I'm going to um up though, I'm gonna have some other ep- episodes uploaded. Ooh, I'm trying to get myself together before I go in. But y'all, he loves you. He loves you and he loves me. And I just want to encourage you to serve him with everything you have. Be blessed.